You guys know I play more than just the guitar, right? So hey guys, it's another week, uh, a very special and important week because this is the last uh, normal video, I guess we could say, and uh, at that, this is a super short topic. Before we get into this video, as I usually do, let me explain myself a little bit. I'm not trying to brag, I'm not trying to boast and say, hey, didn't, uh, didn't you guys know that I'm an incredible all-around musician? I, I think I said in the past when I was doing my how to play the guitar video, um, that I think I said in that video, I'm I'm not great at it. Uh, I would barely even say that I'm good. Uh, I think I just have a decent all-around knowledge um, I, that I can put a song together, I can write my own songs, or do a cover fairly simply. Um, you know, there's a lot of times I don't know what notes I'm playing or what chords I'm playing or how uh, difficult or how easy the things are that I play. I just play things until they sound good, and that's going to be the same across all these instruments. So in no, in no way am I saying that I'm, again, God's gift to music and that I can do all these incredible things. I play a lot of instruments um, fairly amateurly. Uh, and I wouldn't even say that I'm necessarily good at any of them. But of course you all know that I play the guitar, and I strictly, or typically, play the acoustic guitar. Um, I just, as I mentioned in my What Guitar Should I Get video, that I just kind of like the big fool sound. It strips a song down kind of to its very bare form, and I prefer that. If you listen to uh, most of my recordings, or have bought any of my CDs, you'll notice that there's almost always bass, and there's almost always drums. And again, those are both me. And like I said, I'm not incredible at either of these things, um, but I know just enough to keep rhythm and then even then maybe throw in the occasional drum fill as we go. But the easy thing about bass, when, when you know how to play the guitar, is the bass guitar is typically <laughs> four strings, um, and those four strings are the same top four strings or the lowest four strings on a guitar. So if you can play the guitar, then you pretty much can play the bass. Um, the similar side of that is the ukulele, which I, unfortunately, I don't have a bass that's on my wish list, and I currently do not have a ukulele either, so also on my wish list. Uh, but the ukulele is the four highest strings of a guitar, um, or the bottom strings, if you're if you have a guitar in your lap. So again, if you can play the guitar, if you're playing D chords and things like that, then you could probably play the ukulele. And so that's why, you know, I say it's not a big, you know, I tell people sometimes, or they'll ask me, what other instruments do you play? And I'll rattle off a bunch of them and they'll say, wow, that's incredible that you, you're able to do that. And um, if you're a musician and you're watching this video, you're kind of shaking your head along with me and saying, no, not really. Uh, you know, I play the guitar, so most everything else kind of falls into place. And it's probably the same thing. Again, if you're a musician, uh, maybe you don't play the guitar or that's not your uh, main instrument. Maybe the piano is your main instrument. But again, it's the same thing. If you can play the piano, um, the guitar is just kind of a reformatting of where all the notes are. So if you can learn that, then you can learn bass, then you can learn ukulele, so on and so forth. From there, um, I do have a mandolin, and it's just kind of the same idea of it's different, and I wish I had my mandolin out here with me, but the fretboard is like this thick compared to a guitar where it's like that thick. You have that much room to move your fingers around. Mandolin fret is, uh, fretboard is like this thick, so if you have short, fat fingers like I do, it's really kind of difficult, which is why I don't play it super often. But it's got a really cool twang, really cool sound to it. Um, it's got doubled up on all the strings. I believe it's tuned um, like a violin is tuned. Um, so if you're familiar with violin, you're basically strumming a mandolin is kind of the same thing as, as playing the violin in a sense. Um, but again, you just you've got to be really pinpoint precision with the notes that you're playing. Uh, and again, for me, it's just looking up chord charts and saying, okay, it's kind of like a game of twister. Okay, index finger goes here, middle finger goes here, ring finger goes here, and then strumming it until it sounds good and avoid hitting the other strings you're not meant to. Um, and so those are kind of the main ones. I, my very first instrument I ever learned to play was a trumpet. So I've also got a lot of brass instruments down. Um, I have a saxophone, which would be a woodwind, and uh, that's the only one so far 
that uh, I don't got. Um, and again, I have a saxophone. Uh, I just I can't figure it out. I can't do it. Um, so maybe one of these days I'll figure out the saxophone. But guitar, ukulele, bass, mandolin. I have a six-string banjo, which is kind of cheating because then it's just tuned like a guitar, but it sounds like a banjo. Um, and I've actually got a song that uses both guitar, mandolin, and banjo. Uh, maybe I'll play it for you here, just a little bit of it. Um, so yeah, I play more than one instrument. When you see me live, it's just me and a guitar which is what I prefer anyways. Um, but again, it's, it's fun for me. Uh, there was a moment in time where it seemed like I got a new instrument every Christmas, and it was almost like a challenge to, okay, Jeff, here's an instrument. We want to hear you play something that sounds like music by the end of the day on this thing. And uh, other than the saxophone, I've been able to do that every year. So um, those are the instruments that I play. Uh, and then, of course, we'll end this video with a song to you. But I'll also end this video by saying next week will be very different. It's the last video that I have scheduled uh, for you guys to see. And who knows, maybe there'll be more videos in the future. Um, it's going to be the big one. It's the big announcement. There's going to be some things that you'll see that will hopefully catch your eye and get your attention. Uh, I hope that's the case. But we'll see how that all works out next week. So I'll see you guys next week. Thanks. My baby don't mess around. She loves me so. Yes, I know for sure. But I, she really wanna but can't stay to see me walk out the door I can't stay to fight the feeling the thought alone is killing me right now Thank God for mom and dad for sticking two together we don't know how Hey Got it. Oh, yeah, I think you got it. If I got it, just don't get it till there's nothing at all. We get together, oh, we get together. But separate's always better when there's feelings involved. And what they say is nothing is forever. And what makes love And why oh why oh why oh why oh why oh Are we so in denial when we're no we're not happy Hey Hey, hey, hey.